Andrew here with Wicked Anime, and I am here with Dan Southworth and Douglas Horn. Uh, you can most likely know Dan from things as Power Rangers, where he's the Quantum Ranger, and Virgil from Devil May Cry, and both of them who do practically everything on the new web series, Divergence. Alright, so let's start off by talking about Divergence. Give us a little summary. What is it about? Practically everything. Not everything, though, because we did have some great crew members that were... We couldn't have done it without. That's true. We, we do a lot, but we uh, count on a lot of people to help us out. Divergence is an action sci-fi series that uh, what we're trying to do is really make like the AMC, Showtime, HBO quality series of web series, of, of internet original series. This is a series, uh, it it's, follows a character played by Dan, who's a star, Mark Leonard, who's a, uh, who's a, a former military intelligence officer. Who's returned to life? He's got he suffers from PTSD. He's trying to hold his life together, and thrown into that mix is the question that people may or may not be tracking him. And these are people who can disappear into thin air, and he's become convinced as the series begins. He becomes convinced that he is being followed and tracked, and uh, everyone else thinks it can't possibly be. But it then the series unfolds. It be it, it be. be it be yo. <laughs> All right, let's move it over to Dan for just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, so uh, I know you're a big stuntman, stuntman extraordinaire, Dan Southworth. We're more of a medium-sized stuntman, but if you say so. We're, we're keeping it the bigger one. So <laughs> um, uh, so I understand that within doing that, you get a lot of mocap work. Uh, didn't is it, is it true that you did a lot of the mocap work for Devil May Cry as your character, Virgil? Not a lot. All of the mocap work for... Well, no, that's not true. We did have we did have a stuntman come on and do a few things for me, but I did most of the action, the fight choreography. I did the, some of the design uh, or action design for how Virgil unsheathes and seeds his sword, his, uh, his style. I created, uh, and um, thank you. You're welcome. Sorry. It's okay. No one's gonna watch this anyway. No. And so anyway, I, I created that, and I did the voice and the acting for, for, for Virgil. So that. I was lucky to, to be able to have uh, control over all of those aspects of the character for motion capture. It was one of my first motion capture jobs, and it's rare that you get to embody the character like that, um, and also rare that then that character becomes something that's so well received by people who are the fans of the game. Absolutely. Um, now, uh, your history with Power Rangers, uh, are you happy with how well... Power Rangers, how long it's survived in the in the United States? I know it's a uh, it's very Sentai is a very Japanese culture uh, thing, and uh, how how does it feel to you that you just feel that it's still important and still a big part? I think it's really cool that I got a chance to participate in something that has become an icon worldwide, um, and uh, it's an honor. That's how I feel about it. Uh, you know. That it's gone on as long as it has, that's great. Um, I think my sort of real connectiveness and involvement in the show ended when I was done with the show, <laughs> just to be frank and honest. But, <laughs> um, but you, know, you know, I was asked earlier uh, how I feel about having the ch have had the chance to play a, a hero on a show like this. And I'm, I said it was, I was, um, it was, um, it was, like I said, an honor, but also um, I was um, very lucky to have the chance and the opportunity. I worked hard to to get the chance to audition and have the people support me that did for the role when I finally got hired. But I was also really lucky to have those same people pushing for me. Absolutely. And, um, you know, when I run into people, they go, oh, you know, now that you're an actor, did that, does that hold you back in your career that you were a power engineer? I say, no, that was an awesome show to work on. And if they would have asked me to do it five or six more years, I would have done it. Because mm -hmm. um, it was a lot of fun to work on. You know, you, you show up for work, you jump over fireballs, you, you kick big bad guy green monsters in the face. And, you and, save, they, and they spark and explode. And they spark and explode. And you save people and you save the world. What, what a cool job. Yeah, absolutely. So, the was, office. Day at the office. It was fun. It was fun while it while it lasted. Great. All right, so let's bring it back to Divergence. Uh, what's it like having direction over such an awesome crew and making an awesome indie web series that you have going on right now? 
It's awesome. It's awesome. Uh, <laughs> it is awesome. Uh, you know, the the I I've directed feature films. I direct commercials. I've done a lot of projects um, of, of all of all kinds. And there's nothing as great as creating your own series that that really only exists because Dan and I kind of sat down and said, you know, I kind of don't like what's on TV, and mm-hmm. I wish people would. I wish there were like more series. Wouldn't it be cool? We started talking about like series that we used to love, like like The Prisoner and so, and just like and yeah. just like and and stuff like with action and, and action movies that, that just aren't being made that used to be staples for TV. And we said, God, those. You know, I bet that a lot of people feel like we do and would love to watch something that had some. It was like really good and had actual action, like really good action and a little bit of cool sci-fi. Created its own sci-fi world. I bet people would do that. There's no way we can do that TV. But what we could do is this new emerging format. And then Dan came to me and said, "We should be doing this." I'm like, "You crazy? It's so, it's not out there yet." And we decided to, um, with a lot of convincing from Dan, we decided to go out there and create this for ourselves. And you know, kind of, if you build it, they will come. And with the idea that that television is changing so fast. That and how people use the internet to watch is changing yeah. so fast mm-hmm. that by the time we get done and get done with this with Divergence and and some of the more serious some of the additional series that Popular Uprising is is looking to produce that the audience will be there for us. We got to kind of we got to kind of get ahead of it so that they can meet us there. Mm-hmm. So it's great and it's great. It's great to be doing that because because we can't fail because because. <laughs> Everyone expects us to fail. So. Yeah, there's no, there's no, there's no, no one succeeded yet. So all we can do is succeed. <laughs> right. So uh, looking to the future of it, uh, when you see it, do you see it getting bigger? As in, maybe it's going to leave the internet, and maybe somebody else will will also see the genius behind it and and turn it into something more. It's yeah. happening as we speak. It is actually great things are happening because we went ahead and made it and 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 then and then put it out there. A lot of great things are happening, but I want to say I actually don't. Uh, I actually don't know that leaving the internet is the definition of a big success for this. I think that I I, I could see. I actually think that everything's going to be on the internet pretty soon, and we are just kind of ahead of the curve of embracing that. But but the honest answer is this series will exist as long and be as big as the fans allow it to be. That's you know? correct. And that's an interesting. That's interesting because we get asked that question a lot. So, what are you going to do for the next? Uh, how are you going to bring it to the network? Is your plan to bring it to a network? You know, um, as we continue to produce these shows and they they do well and continue to be received as well as this one seems to be uh, um, reviewed so far, um, I'm sure we'll get a, a network or a production company like that will extend an offer to us, and that'll be great. But really. This show is designed to be exactly where it is, and that's yeah. that was the, that's the overall plan. That's the master plan, and, and when, it's where we really want to want to be. Mm-hmm. It's not like we won't turn down an offer from a big studio. Yeah, maybe. but when the network puts you on, then the network can take you off again. Yeah. So and when, with us, right. with mm-hmm. us, we go out there, we build our audience. Nobody, you know, nobody but us and the fans. You know, every series eventually ends, right? Because mm-hmm. you reach your completion, but um, but. It's only when we get tired of it or the fans get tired of it, that's the time for it to end. Not because it hit 16 million viewers and it really needed 18 million. So like network, a lot of yeah. sci-fi shows. And so the network, television, primetime, that's not necessarily the, the place to strive to be. Um, and I think that that's where, that's where um, television may well end up back on the on the internet yeah. instead of I instead really of I really Fox. feel yeah. yeah I feel like that's the past and we're looking at the future and it's nice you know when you're when they're they're trying to look at the future too but they're so tethered by what they by what their mm-hmm. definition is right now and they're trying to make they're trying to like migrate into the future and still keep all their great stuff from the past and we're looking at it unfettered and we're saying I really think this is how people are going to watch stuff I really think it's going to be people who are passionate about shows and you know maybe a, maybe a show has has two million views viewers and, and in TV that would be an utter failure but for something like us that's a gigantic success and we can continue to make kick-ass shows that are badass right. and that 2 million people love rather than something that 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 25 million people feel so so about I mean we want to make it for those 2 million people who really love it yeah that sounds about right to me so please tell our wicked anime audience where they can find Divergence so that they can watch it for themselves and enjoy it Wicked Anime audience, you guys can watch Divergence. Uh, you can go to whatisdivergence.com. 
That's our website. You can also go to facebook.com slash divergence series. Or you can go right to the Popular Uprising channel and watch the darn thing at YouTube slash Popular Uprising. And if you want a real simple um, place to go, just go to the whatisdivergence.com site. It'll have all the information there, links to the Facebook and the YouTube channel. Whatisdivergence.com. www. What is divergence.com? I don't even think you need the W. No, we don't. Because that's the past. I'm just being thorough. What no, is divergence.com? What 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 is divergence? Well, thank you very much, guys. You've been awesome. Awesome, man. Thank you. Thank Thanks you so for much. the interview. Great. Thank you. And go find Wicked it. Wicked anime. Wicked anime, yo.